So this is the Cameron 160 machine. We have a master roll on the unwind in the back. And when it comes to the wind up, we are making two 36 inch wide rolls. Here's one roll, that'll be the second roll. After these rolls are reached 200 yards in length, they'll doff them off. They go across to this table, to this conveyor. And the conveyor runs down and what we are currently doing is we have a little gate set up across the conveyor right there in front of the poly pack. So when the rolls come down, hit this gate, make some roll down the table, and we are currently packaging these rolls manually. Hi. So the rolls come down the table, and basically what they have is the material that's in the poly pack. They've got it on a stand and they're measuring off a stack of however many they need at a certain length to put this roll into. And that's the way we're doing it now because the poly pack is just requires too much of manual handling of the material as it goes in. So this is the entry to the poly pack. So I'm just downstream of this gate that kicks off the rolls. So what we'd like to do is remove this poly pack, replace it with something similar. This is the current configuration of the poly pack. There's a roll underneath this conveyor that comes up the side, goes across some of these rollers and goes through what they call a forming head. So as the roll enters, goes through that tube and it, it uh, puts the uh, roll inside the tube. On the other head, on the other side of that forming head is a, uh, a heat sealing clamp that'll seal off both sides. After it comes through and goes through the heat sealing clamp right here, it will then enter a, an oven or shrink it down. It exits the oven. It gets sent off onto a, another table, kicks it off the conveyor, rolls down the table. And if we want to, we can package the rolls in like a, take three rolls in a triangle shape and send them through this uh, handing machine and ship them out that way. This particular set of rolls that we're currently working with, we put them on pallets and then we load the truck up with pallets. I'll find out what the volume is, but we're currently running one truckload of this material each month.